Mm, for some reason, I have a really good feeling about this week's Ask SP. Must be my GGSP host hunch. It's kind of like a spidey sense. So let's get the good times rolling with this video from Felix and Rufus. Hi, GGSP. Uh, I'm Felix and this is Rufus, and we'd like to give Will a noob accusation for calling the Minecraft Dungeons Jungle Awakens DLC an update. Thank you for accepting our noob accusation against Will, and we hope that he has to drink from the noob cup. Felix and Rufus, out! No, oh, no, a noob accusation. Maybe we can just move past this one and not tell Darren about it. Hello? Well, 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 Will, Will, Will. I see we have a noob accusation. No need to say anything. Let's just roll the tape. <laughs> now, as for the question of whether Minecraft Dungeons will be receiving any updates, well, yes. In fact, the first update, Jungle Awakens, arrived not long ago. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? I wouldn't be so sure, Will. The Jungle Awakens DLC is a paid content pack or expansion, is it not? Not an update, strictly speaking. An update usually implies something that is freely available for all existing owners of the game. But, but, but the official Minecraft page referred to the Jungle Awakens DLC as an update. At least once. And uh, Jungle Awakens also brought some free updates to the base game, like the lower temple map. And isn't DLC just a kind of update? It surely updates the game with new features. Sort of like how a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't always a square. Right? And, and besides, the Noob Cup is so far away, and I'm pretty sure the Noob Cup juice does not travel well. Oh, don't you worry about that, Will. <laughs> Behold! Darren's patented Noob Cup! Cake! It's my brilliant new culinary concept for Noob Justice! <laughs> and I've already arranged to deliver it to your door! Go on, just a tiny taste and we'll forget all about this DLC debacle. <laughs> Alright, well, I better let you go before I tuck into this. I'll be watching. <laughs> Alright, well, here it goes. Oh, is that mustard custard in the center? Oh, no, no, no. Let's roll on with the next video. This one comes to us from Gibson. Why? Hi GGSP, I have two questions for you today. One, is Need for Speed coming out on PlayStation? And two, what is the top three recommended LEGO games in your opinion? Thanks. Thanks Gibson. In answer to your first question, well, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered just came out and is available on the PlayStation 4. In fact, you can check out my thoughts about it through our online channels this week and Gem live-streamed it recently as well. Aside from that, there's also Need for Speed Rivals. It mixes an open-world racer style with the cops versus racer car chases of the series. Ugh. Well, as for the top three LEGO games in my opinion, well, I'm gonna go with LEGO Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. Mm, maybe LEGO Marvel's Avengers and LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. I wonder if the upcoming LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga will bump one of these out of a coveted place in my top three. Time will tell, I suppose. And maybe Will will tell. Although, we'll have to wait until next year to play that now. But that is okay, because a good Jedi knows the value of patience. But I think we have time for one more video, and this one is from Emmeline. Hi, TGSP. My name is Emmeline. And I've got two questions for you. How do you tame animals in Minecraft? And are there any Lego in my Star Wars games on the iPad? And Darren, do these. Bye. Thanks, Emmeline. And I guess I better get Darren back on the line for those emoticons. Greetings, this is Darren. Hey, Darren, uh, it's Will again. I've just got some emoticons for you to do. Oh, goody! I'm tired! A fool for love! <laughs> so sad! Cheeky! Oh, how are you feeling after that noob cupcake, Will? Well, I could be better. I mean, that aftertaste sure is something. Affirmative. Goodbye! 
Right, well, on to your question about how to tame animals in Minecraft. Well, that all depends on which animal you're looking to tame, as not all animals are tameable. But of those that are, wolves can be tamed by feeding them bones until hearts appear. Similarly, cats and ocelots can be tamed by feeding them raw salmon or cod. You can tame parrots by feeding them seeds. Horses, donkeys, llamas and mules can be tamed through repeated attempts to ride them. Again, you'll know you've tamed them when you see those hearts. And if you saddle up your tamed horse, mule or donkey, you can control them while riding. Plus, I hear that the new axolotls coming to the game can be tamed if you catch them in a bucket. Some other animals, like sheep, pigs and chickens for example, will follow you if you're holding certain foods. And some will breed if you feed two of them their preferred food in close proximity. But they're not really tameable in the same way that wolves and cats and things are, where they become more like pets and sometimes can even assist you in combat. To your other question, yes, there are indeed some LEGO Star Wars games for iPad. LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, which I mentioned before, and LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens are the best of the bunch in my opinion. Though they are split into episodes, with the first ep of each being free to play. But after the first freebie ep, you'll then need to decide if you want to pay for the rest. And now, I think I better go find something to wash away the foul taste of the noob cupcake. If you have a question for us, go here to send it in, and if it's a video we use on the show, you might just score yourself some GGSP loot. Ugh. I don't get it. How could my GGSP host hunch been so wrong? Maybe it needs a recalibration.